Easy peasy. Not as difficult as it, they're made out to be. <laughs> I did, however, stick some foam in there just to keep it from doing anything wonky. They are 100% intact. You can see through all that mess in there. Okay, so I cleaned up these ends a bit. Well, as much as I can. And I did not expect these suckers to be so dainty. Ugh, scary. But I guess it's a, it's a precision instrument, so kind of makes sense, I suppose. And these. Oh, this is so tricky. That way. And this way. <laughs> that started. Oh, this freaking spring kind of threw me off. So, we got to get it going. Oh, okay. That wasn't too bad. Okay. So, yes, I got a DRO. Man, they all seem to be working. Squeak. Let's get that plastic thing on that one still. Fuck yeah. Alright, so the next item of business. Now, on these from factory, these have a little bit of a space in there. But since we cut them, we got glass right in the way there. So what we're going to do... Just to make these fit in there again, I'm simply gonna just mill a little spot out of these. Take about five seconds. <laughs> As you can see, I already got one set up in the vise. pretty much the same but I'm kind of just the first two weren't so maybe that was a little bit there we go maybe they're pretty close We got our little test piece here. So we focus. There we go. A little test piece there. It should just drop right in. And one more little thing for these scales. My saw cut does not cut very straight. <laughs> so we're gonna, gonna try to clean that up a little bit if we can. I'm just gonna use this uh, little chunk that I cut off here. This is the first cut I did, and I just want to see if I can't straighten that out a little bit. All right, we'll try with the little quarter inch end now. We'll do it in two passes. I, no, I honestly I don't think that this has a whole lot of bearing on the functionality of this thing. We're gonna go for it anyway, just to see what happens. <laughs> Okay, first pass, no glass, so...
this doesn't pan out, then I'm just gonna say screw it and uh, let sleeping, you know, sleeping dogs lie, I guess. Oh, pretty good. I thought that was gonna melt that glass or something, but it seemed like it was doing some kind of weird shit. All right, there we go. Shaky camera quad there. So far, though, that looks pretty good. We're gonna deburr it and stuff, of course. This goes all the way down, just like that. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. That wasn't too bad at all. So I recently I just got these in. And I thought I'd, uh, I've seen lots of terrible videos on, on cutting these. <laughs> so I watched another fella cut them with a chop saw. And that's super crude. And uh, I don't know what to tell you. I got a fine blade on my bandsaw at slow speed and just took it easy. Guided it down. A little bit of padding where I was cut close to where I was cutting. And I uh, cut pretty good. Can't say how well those teeth are fair, no, but uh, yeah. So that's basically it. There's no holes that need to be drilled. Because this extruded aluminum already comes with holes in it. So and that just clips on just like that. need to tap them these screws just kind of screw right in there they're harder than the base material so they make their own threads now just turn that in with a little dinky screwdriver so they're definitely getting tight There you go guys, I actually did a how-to video, how about that?